What's going on guys? Hugo Drew here. And today you're going to be reviewing the uh, Manzari hookah bowl. And it's basically the crown hookah bowl that, uh, that I posted on Instagram of me smoking. And uh, this is a, uh, this new little thing just came across to me. I saw it on Instagram actually. And it occurred to me that I really wanted to try it. And I wanted to post a review because I think I've used it twice now. And I just wanted to go over uh, some of the things I've been experimenting with it and uh, some of the things they recommend to use. And so before I get to smoking it, I'm just gonna go over how to pack it or how it's recommend to pack it so there's not too much juice. And I'm gonna try to go over as much details of the actual piece itself and how to clean it. And then we'll get to smoking it. All right, so yeah, it's basically just four pieces. Everything screws together nicely. Everything's stainless steel. It's awesome. The very bottom part, obviously, that's where the coals go. It's got some nice holes allowing the coals to breathe. The top part is where the shisha goes in, which also has holes. And uh, you basically assemble it. This is uh, the very little piece that you spin in there so you can turn it to control the heat. And that about covers that. Now, this is just a comparison between a Harmony Funnel Bowl. It's got about the same amount of diameter. The uh, inside, um, the, the amount of tobacco, the grams you can put in there is probably a little less, but you don't really need that much. And now this is just me showing you how to assemble getting the shisha ready, should I say, to go inside. And you basically just dab most of the Axis juices, pushing it flat, and just get any juice that may drip down. And then just packing it. In, um, in this current bowl that I was doing, um, I did a little more than a, a, a regular fluff pack. Um, I sped it up a little bit. I'm trying to keep all the tobacco from the hole, obviously. Uh, sometimes the, the tobacco may drip down onto where the coals are supposed to go. So basically, once you're done packing, just give it a good little wipe up so that way there's no other juices dripping on the sides or anything like that. And here I am with the napkin, wiping it down. Yeah! And so basically, once you've packed it, that's that's it. You just, you know, you toss on the little crown piece and you're all set. Throw those coals on and start smoking. And now this is the cleaning setup. Um, this is the, the juice and stuff that gets stuck on the top of it. It's uh, very, uh, very sappy. It seems, uh, it's probably the glycerin and flavoring and stuff. But rinsing it off is very fast, very easy. Uh, this bowl was sat overnight, so... There's a lot of uh, tobacco kind of just sticking to it pretty hard, but from from what I'm experiencing, it's very easy to clean off. It's by far the best bowl to clean, and it just oh you don't even have to use anything. You can use a scrubber. I used my nail, and I got a good portion of everything off of it, and you know it looks brand new. And then the rest of it, you kind of just rinse it through. Um, you can scrub the, uh, the main chamber of the uh, bowl if you want. Um, I saw that there was like some hard, some hard build up on the very top of it, so I just kind of scrubbed it off on my nail. Came off nice and easy. Now you're back from that. I'm just gonna go over the box real quick. Um, it's a very fancy box. It's got like a little uh, silk kind of velvety looking uh, cloth here that it comes in that it sits in. And uh, on the box, it does have instructions. So that's a cool little box that uh, Mazari has. Let's start smoking this. So far, um, it's taken much longer with just two coals compared to when I was just using when I was using three. So right now, what I'm doing is I just I, I was spinning it until it was actually touching the metal to see if that'll actually you know, be able to push a little bit more. Uh, one of the things I especially like about this is when the coals are sitting, there's holes beneath where the coals are, which I find it to be awesome because generally nowadays with the coconeers and stuff, if they're sitting on the foil for enough time where you're not hitting it, it winds up just hardening into, you know, like basically returning to its original state or something. It's very weird and it's it sucks because it stops the heating process and you wind up having to flip the coal and the coal might be too hot from the other part already sitting on there too long and, you know. So basically this, the main idea of this is being able to heat the tobacco from the bottom without getting coal ash on the top as well as being able to control temperature a lot better than you would just using plain old foil and even the Cloud Lotus in some situations. Cloud Lotus does offer its own little wind cover thing and you'd have to pull a coal out, but at least with this, you can actually drop that down. Heat rises, so it's always gonna keep it warm. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, 
Um, it's not heating up enough for me. I'm gonna toss out another coal real quick. I'm gonna toss it in a tray, and then I can show you guys how it smokes. All right, and we're back, guys. And so all I did was add another coal uh, for heating. Some of you might probably prefer the lighter smoke. I like it to be a little more thicker. That's how I like it. That's more like it. You other smokers might like a lighter smoke, which two coals would be the best way. You may wait a little longer for it to heat up, but I like it with three coals. Now the experience with this is, is it's crazy. Um, just the amount of flavor that you don't think you're gonna get out of this bowl is absolutely, it's just crazy. Just like, and not even like the taste, just the assemble of it. You can disassemble the whole bowl. Cleaning is the easiest thing I've seen. The video of me cleaning it, that was after a night. So it sat overnight. So, you know, the tobacco is obviously sitting on there good. And you know it's on top of the crown piece, there'll be like juices, because it's kind of, you know, everything's just going up. And the juices kind of bounce off the top of that, and then it's created into vape. I'm smoking uh, one of the special editions right now. Um, I smoked rose with it. Rose is one of, by far one of my favorite flavors. It's uh, very picky for some people. Some people don't like it, some people enjoy it. I enjoy it very much. It can be very temperamental with heat. So with that, I actually had to use three coals at first and then bring the tray all the way down, drop a coal, and then eventually it built up to a very smooth smoke and then you just travel your way up the more and more you want to heat it up a little more. Tangiers, Tangiers is very temperamental as well with heat. Tangiers, I started it with three coals. It was very strong, uh, a lot of heat. So my best suggestion with Tangiers, if you're gonna try this with Tangiers, it smokes very well with Tangiers. You just want to bring the bowl all the way down after heating it and then take a coal out, because I had three coals. So I'd recommend maybe trying it with two coals. I will in the future, if I do another Tangiers review, which will probably be sometime in the near future. But for the most part, it's smoking awesome. Pretty high up now with three coals. Granted, the two coals I started off with are, you know, they're a little, they're ashing down a little bit, but now there's a fresh coal on there. So I still consider it three. But it's able to produce some nice cloudage and a lot of flavor. And for the most part, I mean, as long as you don't have crazy juice dripping down from it, you're all set. So yeah, uh, hop on the Mizari website, check it out, give it a look. They got a uh, Facebook, they got Instagram, and their website, which is www.menzari.com. www.menzari.com. Um, I will link it in the description, just because, you know, you guys can give it a visit, just check it out. I don't get any credit for this. I bought this, I purchased this. It's pretty pricey, and depending where you live, the shipping may vary, and tax. But yeah, this pretty much covers this bowl. And I'm um, hoping this helped everybody out. I just wanted to, you know, I was excited to try this. I just want to share it with everyone else. You know, if if you have some extra cash and you're looking to try something new, I definitely try this bowl out. This bowl is really, really neat. It's like it's very different from what I'm used to. <laughs> Till next time, guys. I'm Hooker Drew. I'm just helping you guys out with some cool accessories and tobacco and all that cool stuff. I'm gonna lower this down a little bit, like so. Click little spin.